Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Just taking y'all on a little ride with me. Again, I'm just getting off of work. So, ain't much really going on. I'm just heading home so I can um, do some more homework. Um, it's also midterm week, um, which I've been doing pretty good with all three of my classes that I have left um, with midterm. I still have an A average in um, each one of my classes. Um, so hopefully, come May, I'm ready to graduate. So, But I've been doing pretty good so far. Um, I just want to say good luck to all students during midterm week. I hope y'all pass y'all tests. Um, and I just hope y'all do great and just hang in there. I mean, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. I did a video last night, you know, just kind of giving my thoughts on, you know, for us women, on how much we need to protect ourselves and always be aware of our surroundings and um, be alert, you know, and always have, you know, always have protection, or at least if you're going somewhere, always have someone with you, or at least let someone know where you're going um, if you happen to be going out of town or things like that. Um, but I also forgot to mention, too, when it comes to children, parents, you, you know, I'm not trying to tell some of y'all parents what to do, you know, because, you know, I don't have kids. You know, I have nieces and nephews like they're my own. But, you know, parents, y'all need to be mindful of your children's whereabouts. Um like you know just be careful you know you know i understand you know sometimes you know you let your kids go spend a night places and stuff like that you know you really need to be mindful and be careful about things like that because you may think you know that person oh that's so and so you know i know them but truth be told you really don't you know you just have to be mindful about things like that you know, or going to the friend's house and stuff like that. Just just kind of be careful where you let your kids go. Because a lot of times it could either be the person next door or it could be it could be the person next door. Or it, it could even be family that'll hurt your children. You know, you just have to be mindful about things like that. Me personally, when it comes to, you know, sleeping over and things like that, um... I really don't care for sleepovers. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Um, whether I know the person or not, it could be family or things like that. I personally don't care for sleepovers. I really don't. Because, you know, things happen. And as, you know, the way things are going today, you, you, just, you just have to be mindful and be careful and be protective of your children. 
like I said, it, it can either be the person next door or it can even be family. A lot of times when you hear things happening to kids and stuff like that, like, you know, being sexually assaulted, I, most of the time, there's always someone in the family. You know, it, you know, and not everybody's like that, but I'm just saying how things happen. Growing up, I used to want to go, you know, sleep over to my friends and I used, used to wonder and cry why my mom wouldn't let me go. You know, I never really understood it as a child um, growing up. And I used to always wonder why, but my mama, my mom was just so protective of me and my brothers. Very protective of us. And I didn't understand it, but as I got older and I would hear things, you know, things happening, you, you know, you just hear a lot that's going on with kids. And that's when I realized, okay, I see why my mama was so protective of me. Especially because I'm a girl. It happens to boys too. But, you know, girls, you really have to be very protective of girls. And I, and, and as an adult, I really understood. And, you know, I, I was like, okay, now I see why. So if I ever have to have kids... They can cry as much as they want. You're not sleeping over nowhere. I don't give it. I don't care if it's your best friend. I don't care if it's your first cousin. You're not going nowhere. That's just how I am. I, I'm, I'm just protective like that. Cause things happen quick. It happens very quick. Um, and I just forgot to say that in the last video. Just parents, please be mindful and protective of your children. Please be aware of their whereabouts. You know, just, just be mindful and, and, you know, just, I really don't, I, I hope I'm saying this right, but just be careful. You can't just let your kids go anywhere. You know, I'm not trying to tell none of y'all how to raise your children. I'm not, by all means. I'm just saying, just be careful. You know, the, a lot of times you can't trust everybody. A lot of times you, you, you may think, oh, that's so-and-so. I've been knowing her so long and everything. Her children is, you know, you just never know. You never know. It can, like I say, it can be the person next door or it can be a family member. You, you have to be careful. You just have to be careful. You can't trust everybody. You can't. You may think you know that person, but you really don't. Some people can can put on a pretty picture. They can paint a pretty picture. And all the while, they got issues. You know, just just be, when it's kids, just be very mindful and protective of your children. And that's all I want to say. Again, I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do with their kids. Not tell, I'm not trying to tell y'all how to raise y'all children. I'm just saying this. I'm just, just giving advice and that's all i have to say um on that um i just hate when people ride on your tail you know like they just be bumper to bumper i hate when people do that because they have this guy that's that's bumper to bumper on me and i can't stand it sorry y'all I had to show y'all I'm sorry then the guy's following me he's still following me he's passing them like I just passed them you know I'm sorry I had to see that but they were driving too slow in front of me but um I passed them up 
then the guy that was on my tail, he ended up passing them and he's still on my tail. So I'm about to slow down on purpose so he can pass me because apparently he's in a hurry to get somewhere. And it seems like this is the same truck I meet up with every day that I get off. He's always on my tail. Um, let's see, weight loss. I'm still hanging in there. Um, I'm still taking the Goli apple cider vinegar gummies, um, which again, I mean, it's gonna be three weeks prior that I've been on it, and it's still helping my digestive system. I will say this, I had an attack last night. Um, again, it's not, not the gummies, just, just understand this. Um, I had an attack last night um, with my stomach, you know. You know how I, I've mentioned how when I eat certain things, I have stomach pain, gas pain, feel like I need to go to the bathroom when I get on the toilet. Nothing happens. I'm just relieving pressure. Well, instead of taking the gummies before I ate, I ended up eating before taking the gummies. And I ate some spaghetti. And things like that always trigger my stomach always like the sauce you know the, the, the spaghetti sauce and things like that I mean I felt I was in so much pain last night so much pain gas pain bloat, bloating everything when I took those gummies after I ate like maybe about a couple of minutes after I ate when I took those gummies no more pain at all none the pain went away just like that um so again i mean those gummies those goalie apple cider vinegar gummies apple cider vinegar period helps with your digestive system now it may not help for everybody but i can tell for i can tell you for me it definitely helps me and that's why I'm going to continue taking it. I'm not here taking these gummies for weight loss. I'm telling y'all, that's... I, I mean, I don't know how other people are losing weight, if they are with the gummies. But I know for me, long as it's helping with the bloating and with the gas pains and, you know, helping my stomach. When, when I know how my stomach is very sensitive and, you know, when I eat certain things, how it does. Long as it's helping that, I'm going to continue taking it. I'm going to continue taking it because it, it, it's helping a whole lot. A whole lot. So. thinking I, I do see um, I got an email from Samsung um, about the Galaxy okay, the Tab 5S I hope I'm saying this right but um, I got an email about that and I'm actually considering getting one of those um, it's like a it's a tablet um, but you can also attach like the keyboard if you wanted to um, to it, and it seems really nice. I like Samsung. I like Samsung. And I like Apple. Um, if it's any the brands that I recommend in like electronics, um, like anything electronics would be Apple or Samsung. LG is kind. Of, LG would kind of be. It would kind of come in third. but she just crossed in front of me. LG will come in third. So anything electronics, I would recommend Samsung 
or Apple, LG would come in third. LG, um, I like them like in, um, you know, TVs, you know, brands like that. Um, and any other brand would just come in last, but those are my top three. Apple, Samsung, and LG. When it comes to electronics. I'm really thinking about getting it. If I do get it, I'll, I'll, I'll do um, a review to um, kind of show you guys, you know, just a, like an initial first impression of it. making it to my destination i do thank you guys for watching and i will be back soon um but i gotta listen to um i'll let y'all go and i'll be back soon bye y'all